Buongiorno. Welcome back. This is Doug from DougCooks.net. Today we're going to be exploring more of Rome. We're going to be cooking spaghetti carbonara. Right now I got our pasta cooking, I got our guanciale, rendering all that fat out right now, which is a central part of the dish. Pasta's cooking. While that is cooking, we're going to add some garlic. I got two cloves of garlic. Okay. So in this dish, it's pretty simple as well. Guanciale or pancetta, if you can't find guanciale. Uh, if you don't know what guanciale is, it's the uh, it's a pork cheek. Guancia, the, the uh, cured, seasoned um, pork cheek. That, that makes you a little hinky. You can always have bacon or uh, use pancetta. Pancetta works great. Okay, pasta's cooking away there. Uh, in this dish, we have the garlic. Again, we have the guanciale, black pepper, pecorino romano, that's the classic cheese for this dish, and one egg per serving. So we got an egg beaten up here with a little bit of Pecorino Romano cheese in it, okay? That's ready to go, and that's going to go into the pasta. Now, this pasta is all about technique. you got to watch your temperature on it uh, because, you know, you might end up with scrambled eggs. It's happened to me just recently. I want to move this around. You want to keep it moving. You want to keep it moving. You don't want scrambled eggs, okay? You don't want scrambled eggs. A little bit of pasta water. Let's see what we have. We have we have scrambled eggs. So don't let it happen to you. So this is going. I am going to taste and check our pasta. I can tell it's not ready yet. It's not ready. We'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, the pasta's ready. Um, what we got here is the fat that's rendered out of the guanciale, some nice garlic in there, and we're going to add our other ingredients. Now this is all about technique, okay? We're going to take our hot pasta right out of here, right into the fat, and the hot pasta is going to do the work, okay? Turn that off, we got our egg. Now, be very careful here because this is where a lot of people miss the boat. You're adding your egg and you toss that to make a creamy sauce, okay? As you can see, there you go, look at that, nice creamy sauce. I'm going to add a little bit of, add a little bit of pasta water, sort of thicken that up, okay, just a, a touch. Oh, look at that, look at that. Now we're going to hit it with some black pepper, which is essential part of this dish. This is fantastic. As I stated before, gang, this is not a diet dish. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more pecorino. Give that a toss. Oh, good lord. Lordy, lordy. Look at that. Got a nice, glossy, Cheesy, porky, delicious pasta carbonara. Okay, we're going to plate this now. Get rid of my mess. Clean it up here just a moment. I will sweep up later, Jane. All right, so what you want to do, I'm going to take this and give it a twist. Give it a twist. Give it, give it some height. A little nest there for serving. Look at that. Now, if that doesn't excite you, I don't know what else would. Some of that delicious porky goodness. Finish it with a little bit more cheese and black pepper. Or black pepper and cheese, as you can see. I reversed it. Pasta a la carbonara. Now it's time to get on the treadmill.
Manja. You. Manja.